Miraculously, scientists have found that a mysterious statue in a Spanish cathedral is made of material not found on this earth. And the pillar it stands on plunges deep into the earth so that no one has ever been able to find its end. Our true story begins with St. James the Apostle, who was having a hard time evangelizing a certain part of Spain, until one night he prayed, asking Our Lady for help when this happened. Howdy everyone and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca and thank you for being here with me today. This channel is dedicated solely to spreading awareness to Our Lady. If you think that there should be more devotion to Our Lady on the internet, consider subscribing and sharing our video with family and friends. Thank you. Okay, on to our story for today. The miraculous origins of the Virgin the Pillar has proven to me that Our Lady rewards those who have devotion to her. St. James is one of those people with a special devotion to the Blessed Mother. In 40 AD, when he became the apostle to what is now Spain, he was having a hard time evangelizing the northern region of Zaragoza. One night as he prayed, asking for help, he suddenly beheld a great light. In the middle of it, he saw Our Lady surrounded by a multitude of angels. The interesting thing is that Mary was still living in Jerusalem at the time. But as queen of the church, she was given a special grace to see all that concerned her son's work. She asked Jesus' permission to help him in a special way. So our Lord asked his mother to go to Zaragoza, and it was his desire that St. James return to Jerusalem to suffer martyrdom. But first, he must build a church in Zaragoza, in Our Lady's name, where she would be venerated for the welfare of Spain. And so a band of angels raised Our Lady on their wings and bore her through the air across the Mediterranean. And just to pause here for a moment, the story I'm telling you comes from the writings of Venerable Maria of Agreda, who was shown the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary in detail. Maria of Agreda's work provides us such incredible insight into the real life of our Blessed Mother. I highly recommend reading it yourself if you can. And while we're paused, I also want to let you know that we have some openings in our special Child of Mary group. As a child of Mary, you would be responsible for helping spread the message of Our Lady to thousands of people who need her. If this sounds interesting to you, you can learn more by clicking the link in the description down below or clicking right here. Okay, back to our story. Our Lady appeared to St. James. She directed the angel to place a pillar and statue in the place where they still stand today. Then she told him that in that very place he would build a chapel where the statue would last with the faith until the end of the world. And to be sure the statue would remain safe until the end of time, she left an angel to guard the spot. Soon after, St. James and his disciples built a modest chapel, 16 feet long by 8 feet wide, to enclose the Virgin's gift. With that, the Church of the Pillar became the first shrine ever raised in Our Lady's honor. Over time, the fame of miracles attributed to the Virgin of the Pillar spread far and wide. With the offerings of many pilgrims that visited the shrine, a church was built around the column and the statue. And now, it's a cathedral. And Our Lady's word has been true. If you stand in the cathedral now and tilt your head upwards, your eyes will come to a dead halt on bombs hanging from the ceiling. Those bombs were dropped during the Spanish Civil War. They hit the cathedral, but never caused it any harm. And listen to this. In attempting to match the granite the pillar is made of, the scientists have not been able to find the identical granite. Similar, yes, but only in other parts of the world. The statue of the Virgin is made of a material not found on this earth, and by a miraculously divine action, no dust ever settles on it. So for almost 2,000 years, the statue has never needed dusting. And as I mentioned before, another one of the marvels concerning this pillar is that it plunges into the earth so that none have ever been able to find its end. The Holy Chapel is never unoccupied for a moment, from daybreak until the doors are closed at night. This tells me Our Lady of the Pillar truly is universally loved. And I hope that after hearing this story, you'll find yourself among her devotees. 
And that's all for now, everyone. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you, and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.